And we're joined now by TFG boxing expert Bernard Hopkins. Welcome, Bernard. Great feature on Kathy Duva. She can hold her own in anybody in this business. She's been around a long time. She was very instrumental in putting my fight together with Sergey Kovalev. So she's been a pioneer in the sport. Yep, she's got mad respect from all of us. Yes. Meanwhile, uh, Andre Ward returns on March 26, fighting in the light heavyweight division for the first time against Sullivan Barrera. How big a question mark is Andre after all of his long stretches of inactivity? A very big question mark. Andre Ward's been inactive for about four years, maybe two or three fights. Sergey Kovalev in that division has been active, has been active. So uh, Andre Ward has to really get up on his fight as far as being active and training and getting mentally ready to fight. And I think that coming in, in this month, it will be a start. But I'd like to see him be more active before he fight a guy like Sergey Kovalev, maybe one or two fights. Let's take a look at Pacquiao Bradley 3. Most of us at ringside believe that we've already seen Manny Pacquiao beat Tim Bradley twice. What's the best argument for why it can be different this time around? Well, the best argument can be made is going to be a brawl, I believe, somewhere in a fight. But I think two guys know each other so well that they actually know what to look out for. But I think at the end, I think that Pacquiao might squeeze out a close decision. But I look, I look for it to be exciting because of their styles and because of Bradley. Bradley fights right there in front of you and he come to fight. But I think that Pacquiao would win by decision if he's going to win. If Bradley were to win, a possible logical future matchup would be against rising star Terrence Crawford. But Crawford says that he and Bradley are such close friends they could never fight against each other. If fighters see themselves that way, is there no point in even thinking of that matchup? Well, I don't think they're going to fight, and I don't think that we should waste time on it because, A, I think that when you got that close relationship and friends, it's very hard to, to uh, really punch each other the way you want to punch each other. They have to create some kind of animosity amongst each other to be very competitive. And I think when they don't have that, I think even if they somehow do fight, it won't be exciting uh, for the fans in, in boxing. Gennady Golovkin has a date April 23rd against lesser-known challenger Dominic Wade. Once again, Gennady will be an overwhelming favorite. How difficult is it for a fighter to stay on top of his game when he goes in as an overwhelming favorite over and over and over? Well, it could be very difficult, but this is the time where he needs now to be that true veteran, that true uh, star in, 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 in boxing in that division because, A, he's the man in that division. He's waiting for that big signature fight, and it's not here yet. So he's going to have to be patient. He's going to have to be, stay focused, and he's going to have to continue to beat the guys that they put in front of him. All right. Thanks very much, Bernard.